Okay, we're here to talk about rock and roll today. <laughs> I happen to be a rock on tour, an expert in rock and roll. I see a confused expression right there. What, what the hell is going on? Okay, we're going to do a question and answer until Frank gets here. Okay? You? Great idea. <laughs> question. Anybody? Come on, you have to raise your hand. Do you have a question? Come on. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, the need not to dig ditches. It's very important not to dig ditches in your life. Uh, that's why we have an immigration policy. We invite people from other countries over here to dig our ditches, and we let other people who have been here for at least one generation draw comic books. And so that's what I was allowed to do. That, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> because I noticed along the way that those guys who were digging the ditches were wait, working eight hour days and I was working 15 hour days and it didn't make any sense. And I think that that's just one of those things of those white settlers that came here a couple of generations ago is to take you down after you do that generation of ditch digging is to turn you into a comic book artist. It's the worst thing in the world to be. So I draw comic books, and later on in life, I discovered that the only way that I could draw comic books was to insist that they pay me more money so I didn't have to work 15 hours a day. So I got very upset, and I went to the comic book companies, and I said, you guys are have to, gonna have to do some stuff like return our original art and give us royalties so that I don't have to work 15 hours a day. And they said, that's very selfish, Neil, because all, the, all your fellow artists want to work 15 hours a day. They're psychologists, you know, they're very smart. So I said, well, if everybody else wants to do it, then forget it. Mm, then I didn't say that anymore. Then I got upset. And you know, it's somebody with a kind of a smiley face like mine, you don't want to get them upset. And so I got upset. And they changed. It's, that's the short story. The long story is boring. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, sir. Where do I think it still needs to go? I've been in conversations with DC Comics with Mr. Paul Levitz. I call him Mr. Paul Levitz. I used to call him Paulie, get out of the way. <laughs> What the hell? Get out of here. Now he's turned into Mr. Paul Levitz. And I had a conversation with Paul, and Paul assured me that my contribution to the Batman movie that you guys are about to see next Wednesday, which, by the way, is my birthday. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Opening day for Batman is my birthday. Happy birthday. I don't know how they arranged that. I, I, it's not worth a dollar, but it's very cool. <laughs> My birthday, Batman. Anyway, and, and I'm not saying those other Batman movies were shitty. They were, they were good. The, the, the nipples I liked <laughs> on Batman. I noticed the girls didn't have nipples. I didn't quite understand that part. The guys did. It's very weird. <laughs> anyway, um, since they're using Ra's al Ghul in the movie, and since Denny O'Neill and I created Ra's al Ghul, DC Comics has a sort of a policy. They're gonna take a, a percentage of the money that they get and they're gonna pay people who contributed uh, kind of generally to the movie. So I'm gonna get a check for the movie. But I've noticed something, and that thing is, when they say things like that, if they don't make a contract, which if there are any art students here or people who wanna be artists, uh, I'm, saying, I'm saying this advisedly so you can think about it. If they don't write a contract and they say, well, you know what we'll do is we'll the, of the money that DC Comics gets, we'll take a, we take a certain percentage and we break it up among the people who really contributed to the project that appears on the screen. And you kind of go, oh, that's cool. That's really good. So how many people contributed? Well, you know, there were a group of people, you know, Jim Lee, there's a little bit of Jim Lee in there. And I'm going, what, what was Jim Lee? Did Jim Lee's in there, really? And uh, Denny O'Neill, well, okay, Denny's, yeah, sure. 
and, uh, and he mentioned a couple of other names that I, I didn't know who the hell they were. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought, well, that's going to cut up that particular piece of cake. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to get. But you know, it's stupid of me to listen to such a conversation because there's a business side of me that has learned through being bashed in the head by businessmen who are heartless bastards, <laughs> um, who will say things like that to you and they won't write them down. And you know, it's the writing down thing that's very important because you know what'll happen is the Batman movie, I would be surprised if this Batman movie doesn't make a billion dollars. And you know, when somebody says a billion dollars, you kind of go, billion dollars, I won't make a million, billion dollars. Oh yeah, this thing will make a billion dollars. I don't know what the percentage is that's gonna go to DC Comics, but it's gonna be more than went to DC Comics on the last Batman movie. So if somebody got a check on the last Batman movie, and I compare my check to the check that they got on the last Batman movie, I think there's a scenario that happens behind the scenes, and the scenario would go something like this. Gee, the Batman movie's making an awful lot of money. Let's take a look at the check that they're sending us from the movie company for our percentage over at DC Comics. Holy shit, look at that. That's a lot of money. And what percentage are we going to give to the comic book guys? Well, um, we really haven't pinned it down to a percentage. Well, how much did we give them last time? Oh, uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know, 5% and we broke it up. Oh, you can't take 5% from this and give 5% to those guys. It'll be too much money for them to have. <laughs> They'll go crazy. Why don't we just make the percentage smaller? You know, there's that temptation. When you see a big chunk of money and you have to give some of it away, uh, it gets to like a number, like a million dollars. You kind of go, oh, I don't want to give them a million dollars. That's like spooky. So my guess is that because they don't have a contract with me that says I'm going to get a certain percentage of a certain amount of money, I'm probably going to get less than I might expect to get if they were fair. Fair. You have this concept called fair. You know? Fair, unfortunately, happens when you have the piece of paper that says you get this. Because if you don't, fair becomes very flexible. You know, you really should have got a million dollars, but you're getting, oh, $185,000. Well, that's $185,000. That's a lot of money. But it's not a million dollars. So, let me just say this, if there are any art students here. Get a piece of paper. Try to take work made for a hire off the piece of paper, if you can. Try to get a fair contract. Try to get as many rights as you can. Try to find a cheap goddamn lawyer, because all those goddamn lawyers are too expensive. Get one that's smart and cheap and have him on your side and write a good contract. If there are no artists in here, nah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Any other questions? Yes, Jim. Uh, Why don't you talk into a microphone? I don't think it works. I don't think it works. You, it can, use work. this. you can use this one. I was just going to mention that uh, of all people, Stan Lee had a contract. Ah. And, it, and uh, it was up on the internet. And everyone could read it and said, uh, whatever money Marvel gets from any Marvel movie during the term of this contract, Stan is entitled to X amount percent, and even then, <laughs> they said, no. <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, they did settle and they did, did give Stan uh, a large amount of money. It's, it's supposed to be about $10 million. I mean, it's hard to contemplate such an amount of money, but I think it was $10 million. So I went to Stan immediately the next day and I said, Stan, I'm collecting money for William Messner Loeb's, and I know you're not going to do a drawing for me, but can you give me some money? And I, I said, I gave William uh, $3,000. So if you can come up with something, I didn't say considering that you just won $10 million in a court case, but if you can come up with something, then I'd appreciate it. So he came up with a few bucks. Not a lot. 